everyone, I'd like to give you a demonstration of how to use Venn diagrams philosophy style. So I emphasize philosophy style because there's lots of different ways to use Venn diagrams. Um, and if you just go to YouTube and look up Venn diagrams, you'll get different information. But in specifically in logic, <clears throat> Venn diagram, there's certain rules for using Venn diagrams. Specifically, um, and here's the most important thing to remember, in philosophy, you shade in or think about blacking out the part that does not exist. Okay, so instead of highlighting what you want to emphasize or um, filling in what you want to say does exist, it's the opposite. You're eliminating. So how would you diagram the statement unicorns exist? Um, so here's the, the class of all things that are unicorns. So the set of all unicorns in the actual world. You put a little X in there. There's a unicorn. So this basically says if there's an X in here or a picture of a unicorn. Um, this says there is at least one unicorn. So unicorns would exist if there is at least one. So there's at least one unicorn. Um, that's how you would diagram that with a little X. Um, here's how we would diagram two terms or two sentences. So these are basic ways um, to diagram different statements. So if you wanted to say all dogs are overweight, or the same thing, so all dogs are overweight is equivalent to, let me just type this in here. It's equivalent to the statement, um, if it's a dog, it is overweight. Okay, let's make it so it's, there we go. All right, so um, this here, is a Venn diagram of the, um, so let me just click into here so I can show you. Uh, let's just scroll down. Okay, here we go. So if it's a dog, it's overweight. So we're gonna have two circles. Oh, I want the rainbow circle. Okay, one circle. So this is for, um, Wow, that's bad. Okay, so this circle is everything that's a dog. So everything that's identical to a dog. Everything identical. So all dogs. I'll just say dogs. And then this over here would be um, everything that is considered overweight. Oops say overweight. Um, it's helpful to start it with a, like a noun, everything that is, oh, I'll say overweight. Okay, so how do these two, um, so if everything in the world that's overweight goes in this circle and all dogs in the world go in this circle, how would we diagram the statement? And let's see what it was again. All dogs are overweight. So this says everything that a dog, every, all dogs are overweight. Okay, so here are all the dogs in the world. So let's get a highlighter. And since I've been talking about blacking things out, I'll do a black highlighter. Okay, so um, all dogs are overweight and these are all the dogs in the world. So if every dog is overweight, we're not gonna have any dogs over here. There are no dogs in the space of possibilities. Um, there's no dogs in this space, right, that are not overweight. So all the dogs go over here. Oh, I, I said this to my students last semester and they really liked it, it helped them. So let's say, let's go back. How do I erase that? Okay, my student said this helped. Okay, so here all the dogs in the world live in this circle. And I say all dogs are overweight. <clears throat> okay, and here's the everything that is overweight circle. 
So what do dogs do? They say, oh, we're all overweight. So they all run here and there's no dogs left here. Okay. Or um, what's another way to say it? Um, if it's a dog, it's not overweight. Okay, those two are equivalent. Let's write it in. That way it, it'll help you um, figure out the how this is equivalent to modus ponens and modus tollens. Um, all right. If it is a dog, it is over, it is not overweight. Okay. So um, let me write that one out for you here. Okay. So here's everything that's a dog. Here's everything that's overweight. Let's. Um, okay. So the statement was no dogs are overweight. Let me recheck that. No dogs are overweight. Okay, so if no dogs are overweight, here all the dogs in the world are here in this circle, and then you say, hey, no dogs are overweight, and the dogs that are happen to be hanging out over here, go run over here, because they're, they're in the dog space, and they're also in the overweight space. They say, oh, wait a minute, we're not overweight, and they all run that way, okay? So then there's no dogs left in, there we go, there's no dogs left in this area. All right, so you'd fill in the middle. And any um, statement that um, says there are no blanks that are blank or everything that is a blank is not a blank, the picture is going to look just the same. So how would we diagram some dogs are not overweight? Here we go. So here's everything that's a dog, everything that is overweight. Okay. So at least, there's at least one dog in the world that's not overweight. All the dogs are here, and they're like, okay, uh, dogs, sort yourself out. The ones that are not overweight go here, and then this is how you indicate it. There's at least one dog that's in the not overweight category. Now... Uh, we're going to learn how to check syllogisms for validity using three circles. This is, if it's a mammal, then it's warm-blooded. So every mammal in the world goes here. Mammals, mammals. And this is everything that's warm-blooded. Okay, so yeah, we're just labeling these circles here. Mammal is this one, and warm-blooded. Everything that's warm-blooded. Everything warm-blooded. So let's just map that. Everything that's a mammal is warm-blooded. Now this time I'm gonna use two different colors so you can see both of them, how they interact. So what should I put together? Pale blue, pale blue. Okay, we're gonna do all mammals are warm-blooded. Okay, so this is everything that's mammals, and they look at each other and say, any cold-blooded mammals? Okay, wait, no, we need to all go here. So all the mammals run here to the warm-blooded part of the circle because there are no mammals still in the not warm-blooded category. So we're going to black this out, shade that, that means there's no mammals there. And excuse my bad shading, just because this is awkward with this mouse. Um, okay, the next sentence. Okay, so for the next sentence, we've got a new term, whales. So that's a new one. So let's draw um, a whale circle. Okay, and then this is, we're gonna label whales. Okay, everything that's a whale, and let's push it closer. Okay, so let's do, um, okay, so this, this second sentence is, all whale, whales are mammals. Okay, so they're not talking about warm-blooded right now, so you can just forget this circle. Um, just block it out, put your hand over it. And we're just focusing on these two, 
and you could even turn your paper so it is horizontal like these two were just to, to focus on those two in fact I could no I can't do that turn the whole thing okay uh, let's see whales whales with whales okay this says all whales are mammals okay so um, there's going to be no whales so all the whales are in the circle and they say oh look guys um, all the all the whales that aren't mammals are going to stay over here now again you're ignoring the circle right there okay and I'm just going to delete that that was a mistake okay so all whales are mammals actually I can't do that undo all whales are mammals. So all the whales that aren't mammals, so someone, some whale says, okay, all the whales that aren't mammals stay over here. All the whales that are mammals go over here. Okay, so we're going to map that out with pink. Okay, so whales that are not mammals. Okay, so this shading means there's no whales here. All the whales went swimming into whoop, there. Oh shoot, how do I get that back? So now here's the conclusion. Therefore, all whales are warm-blooded. Or another way to say that. Therefore, if it's a whale, then it's warm-blooded. Okay, so does this conclusion say that all... So the only thing left... Okay, so does this conclusion say that all whales are warm-blooded? So look... Okay, so anyway, you get the point... Uh, that whale is supposed to be there. <laughs> it's upside down and it won't go there. But anyway, um, all the whales in the world. So here we've got this space that says um, that the thing is a mammal. It's warm blooded and it is a whale. And it's right here in the middle. Okay. So that is valid because you've got this clear spot right in the center that, that expresses this um, the conclusion. Okay, let's look at um, a, another one, another example. Okay, and this is on one of your assignments as well. Um, test this um, Venn diagram for validity. Okay, so all Smurfs are snorks. I think these are all cartoons from the 80s. All Smurfs are snorks. All Ewoks are snorks, therefore all Smurfs are Ewoks. Okay, is this valid or invalid? And so let me just point out that each circle you draw is going to look like this. Each pair of circles is going to look like of the all blanks are blank. Okay, so each pair is going to look just like that. And then just think about if it's three circles, you would have that rotated in different ways. So all at blanks are blank, or if it's a blank, then it's a blank. Looks like this pattern. All Smurfs. So this is everything in the world that's a Smurf and everything in the world that is Snork. So let's do all Smurfs or Snorks. Oh, perfect, because Smurfs are blue. Okay, so here are all the Smurfs in this circle. Let's write Smurfs here. And then this circle is all Snorks. All, here's all the Smurfs. Now, we tell them that, hey, all of you, everything that's a Smurf is also a Snork. So they all run here to the category that is both Smurfs and Snorks. So we're going to go like this. So that means this doesn't, this doesn't exist. There's no Smurfs left here, so we're just blacking this area out. In fact, it might help you if we go over. Look, it doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. Let's diagram the first part. Now we've got a new sentence to diagram. All Ewoks are snorks. So we have a new term. We need another circle. Circle there. Okay. So this says everything that's an Ewok is a snork. These are all Ewoks. So everything that's an Ewok is a, what does it say, snork? Everyone in here is also a snork. So all the Ewoks go running here to the part where they're both an Ewok and a snork. Okay, so that means there's no more Ewoks left in this category here. No more Ewoks, so we're just going to block this all out. Okay, that's the only place for them to be. Now, does this say 
that all the Smurfs are in this Ewok circle too. Okay, no, it doesn't say that because there are probably some Smurfs still here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense um, to you. Uh, let me know if it doesn't and um, if any points need clarifying. Um, yeah, so thank you for the request to do this. This was a fun um, little chat, little video to put together.